So then, how much recording time have I got left? Ten minutes? Well, that should be ample time. I think I'll do this. Because the lighting's really terrible out here at the moment, because it's gone all dark. So yes, the, uh, well you can read it in the title. The Dutch Model K with straps that I have assembled poorly. I should know how to put these together and I forgot and, and by the time I'd remembered it was already too late and I can't be able to try and get it all set up again. So This is how it'd be now. Uh, this isn't mine, this was meant to go actually to Devin who I'm sure will comment. Oh that's me mask, you can't. Get, give it back or I'll tell Dr. Tong. In fact, put that word for word for me. Dr. Tong being an inside joke between me and a select few. Got the name on here. Not that it matters. Because I can't read it. Well, I could. <laughs> I'll just butcher it. A uh, very simple bag. Got your little leather popper thing here. That isn't meant to be on that side. I've just. <laughs> I think I've pulled it through by accident. But yeah, this was meant to be going to Devin, and then Nick was like, oh, actually, that's kind of rare, how about you send it back? And while you're there, why don't you send me all of Devin's shit? And so we did, and then Devin was like, I didn't agree to that. You know, why Why have you got rid of my stuff to send to him? Mm, sorry, Devin. Lovely thick canvas bag, and in here we've got our Model K. I don't have any filters, sadly. But what's interesting about this one is it's by, oh, I forget the name. Fredestine. I'm sick of editing these things, so I'm just going to put it in the pinned comment. Uh, the lenses are also threaded. This one, however, has been put on at an angle by some fucking moron prior to Nick getting it, which is why it's leaking air. Whereas the other one does come off, and you can replace your glass. Double glaze, look at that. You going to focus? Yeah. I'll just pop that back in. As for sizes on these things, I have no idea if these things are even meant to have a size. I think it's meant to be one size fits all, because all of them I always see has the exact same numbers on them. I've put that on wrong. There you go. Had the exact same numbers on them, of course, by the, uh, the date varying. This one being 1952, which is also why it's made by the uh, least common of the manufacturers. It's Let's get it on the head, so that you can get a good old proper look at it. It also means it doesn't fit me for shit, so it's definitely a small fit. You may also remember them from, if I remember correctly, the first Space Jam movie. It's got the rarer exhale. Elasticated straps with uh, little belt loop things here so you can keep them out of your way, which is something that all masks should fucking have. Looking at you, FM12. I don't need dreadlocks. Five point head harness with a good old forehead strap, which is not elasticated. So having this is a little bit more redundant on that one. Nice little fabric skull cap, which for the 50s isn't that bad. God, we're having a Dutch night tonight, are we? I should have done this before the C3 and then I could have lined them all up because I've put the C3 and the FM12 away now. Anyway, severe cracking, sadly. But this isn't going on my eBay. Like I say, this is meant to be going to Devin, but then Nick was like, actually, I kind of want it. So it's like, okay, it's got to go back to Nick. Uh, let's see, i do this first. Here's your rare exhale cover, which is less like a mushroom and more like an actual fucking valve looker looking thing. With so many threadings. And there is your uh, Belgian M51 reminiscent style valve where it's a really thin piece on top of a thick piece, which could get easily perforated. Speaking of which, I have an ANP M51 used by Belgium, not France, sadly, in size 1 large, because no one else could find out what the sizes were, so when someone said, why don't you just buy a size 1 and tell us if it's large, I was like, okay, I'll do that then. And I did. And so now we know that size 1 is large, as opposed to 3, which some people thought. So, feel free to put it on the wiki now. I had to spend money to find out, because no one else was bothering. Uh, and sadly mine is damaged. Why am I ranting about that now? And I could be ranting about it in a perfectly good video on the thing. Like I say, uh, quite a tight mask for me. What's also very interesting about this mask is it has dual threads. 
in a sense of it has 60 millimeter and 40 millimeter which shares the exact same air airflow but the 60 on it's still blocked here all the air goes through the same hole 40 mil same hole a really neat uh design in fact i can probably demonstrate it well that's not fucking helpful my battery has gone down and even though it's on charge oh no hang on it's back okay so what did we reach 15 percent again whatever anyway British Mark II filter. This one actually hasn't been tainted by the Danish, which is rather lovely. GD type 26 slash 53. Mark II. Uh, there you go. Uh, Mark II, 24th of October. Is that, no, sorry. No, that is October, isn't it? My memory's terrible. 1950. So it's still post war, but, you know. Like I say, not tainted by the Danish crown. Darker uh, cardboard. So as we can see, 60mm. Threads on. How cool is that? And then of course, pop it back off. Because that filter had never been on anything and I've probably just scratched it. It's been brand fucking new since 1950. Uh, pop that back into the mask. In fact, actually, one's here. This one has been tainted, sadly, by the CF, but the filter hasn't for some reason. It's a Mark II. A real Mark II. A Mark II A. No, just the valve holder is different. Real in quotation marks, and I'll get into that tomorrow, maybe. And then, of course, we take this here, FE53. Pop you off. 40mm. Hey presto. So that's all about really I've got to say on this thing because I really cannot remember much about it. I just wanted to cover its existence before it goes over to Devonium. Or rather back to Nick and then Devin will get another one. I already covered most of the info on it over on um, my Insta. So let's go over there because it's the only place I'm actually still posting on time, and uh, if you actually want to chat and know what I'm buying and selling or get into other collecting circles, just make a fucking Discord already, come on, hop on and come and find us. Inside there is no peripheral seal, I did not just hear that, I hope you did, tell me your volume to hear an anime girl a few seconds ago. Chin rest, here's your little... Inlet valve, which seems to have gotten stuck a little bit, actually. It looks like it's lifting off. Poor fucking thing. And if I do lift it off, you can just see underneath there. There's your inlet valve, which is rather angled. So yeah, pretty basic as far as it goes, and it served them perfectly fine for the longest time. Obviously there'll be a lot more to the kit, there'll be your bag, your anti-fog, all your other shit. I never bothered to go out of my way to get one of these, because, quite frankly, one size fits all is the bane of my existence.